Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's play Open XCOM Area 51. In the last episode we have uh, met a UFO full of overlords and uh, we decided never to go on such a mission again because there's no loot, no point in going there basically and they kill us and they are annoying. So, not going there. I will, however, go after the commander guard. I have uh, spent a lot of time equipping the people. So, we have um, eight very bad soldiers and six best soldiers. Everybody has a heavy plasma and stun rod because we will try to get that commander alive. So, just allow them to get to Southeast Asia a little bit closer and see if they land maybe infiltration missions land right maybe they land no infiltration missions don't land do they yeah i think they don't land let's take the interceptor and avoid the base as much as possible Okay. All right, so yeah, these probably won't land. <laughs> That's a hunter killer. Okay, let's at least shoot them over the over the ground if we even can shoot them down. I'll use like two of these. And then the rest will be... Oh, destroyed. Oh, so they are the worst kind of hunter killer. They are the kamikaze guys and we might have just triggered retaliation. What a joy. And all my equipment was for nothing. Ugh. Okay. Waspites, alien raid. Alien raid doesn't land and we don't even know where they are going. They have unidentified uh, regions, so let's ignore them. Waspites are also probably not that convenient to fight against. General stores are fine. Overlords, definitely ignoring them. Gazer corpse. The single big eye is the most prominent anatomical feature of this alien. It has crustacean traits, but it has much more but it is much more evolved. The very thick armor is not simply worn. Cybernetic implants stem from it and connect to the organs of the creature. It is a shell for the creature. Alright. Doesn't tell me what I can use against it, but fine. Let's continue with the inimical forces and let's have a look at the manufacturing as well. We are doing ah, those motion scanners. How many more suits of armor do I have left? 19. That should be fine for the moment. Yeah, that should be fine and I have Gauss clips, right? Yes, I manufactured some. All right. Good, good. We have very small uh, mixed, whatever that is, an alien research in South America. So I won't care about the very small, but I will care about... Um, yeah. So... Everybody put on armor. Okay, everybody has armor now. And I will care about um, getting uh, people there into that base. We'll basically switch uh, HQ again. So everybody 
this perfect everybody's on and all our equipment as well like this anything else yes we do have some more all right perfect and um, team a We'll take a shortcut to here and now we will transfer them to South America, Team A, like this, transfer, cost zero because it just redirected them, right? They will take a different route. What are you doing exactly, Team A? I think I know I need to be returning to base. Which is returning here. Ah, okay, perfect. That's exactly what we want to do. I don't know if we have uh, made the aliens angry or not. If they will go after the base or not. But uh, if they do, I don't want to be there. <laughs> so let's transfer to South America basically everybody, even the wounded guys and, well, everybody as I said. Ragnar, everybody else over here as well. Really so many people? Okay. Yeah, transfer that. Now we don't have any more soldiers. South America will have all 46. Perfect. Stores are over full there already. So we'll need to build another general stores there. Plus Australia still has some stuff. So first transfer to South America interceptor. Team B, the missiles, and we don't have enough space, okay. So Australia now has tons of free space. South America will transfer to Australia all the Illyrium and Alloys. Because we don't need that. And suddenly you have tons of uh, free space, yay. So Australia, yeah, that's fine. Transfer back to South America. Team B, all the missiles. And all that will probably go elsewhere. Yeah. Interceptor, Team B and missiles. Yes, transfer. And how does Africa look like? Looks fine. So Australia transferred to Africa, our research base, the blaster launchers, small launchers, stun bomb, illyrium bombs, corpse, 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 corpse. Power sources will leave food, entertainment, surgery, alloys, engineer and puffer. Okay, and we have just power sources, Illyrium and navigation in here. It will be our storage base from now on. Australia, and we need to move the South America. Move HQ to South America. Yes, so South America is now there. Perfect. 103 is fine. Yeah, it's fine. Australia. What about transfers? All the soldiers are already here. Perfect. Perfect. I like it. So these guys, small scout going to South America. They, they are the first one in the whole wave of alien research project which is great. Let's just hope there will be no um, no hunter killer on the way. 
inimical forces. The aliens uh, seem to have a well-established hierarchy with each member having a distinct role in their society. Their higher ranks are composed of scientists who are responsible for designing their advanced technology and commanders who oversee their invasion of Earth. So far we have mainly encountered their lower ranks, but it is vital that we locate and capture those aliens, scientists and commanders in order to advance our research of their technology to give us a fighting chance and also to discover the location of their hidden base. Okay, so we have captured a scientist already. We still need a commander. I wanted almost to get that ethereal. Uh, it, it says command guard, right? So there must be commanders there as well. We have learned that they have a hidden base. Mm, I'm not sure if that's a hint to something we need to do or if it will open something. Uh, maybe it's just the Martian base, the Cydonia. But uh, yeah, definitely we need to capture a commander next. Also, two typos. It's a well-established based, I think, not n well-established based. And Earth should probably be spelled with a capital E. Other than that, it looks good. All right, next we'll go after... Hmm, UFO power source. Sounds useful. Anything else? Not really. Okay. So continue. These guys are not landing yet. Or ever, looks like it. Yeah, they are not landing and we have just arrived. Congratulations, Team A. Everybody. Put their stuff down and we need to load the, what was it, the heavy plasma and gauss loadout, right? Rockets, grenades, eight gauss rifles and six heavy plasmas, six and plasma rifles. I think I can do without these now and do like ten heavy plasmas and four gauss weapons but let's keep eight anyway yeah we can probably sell all the plasma pistols now we will never need them again plasma rifles i will keep just in case i need a second team or something although we do have a lot of heavy plasmas for them too so meh but fine we will do the equipment later How long until you arrive, people? Four hours, okay. Well, come back. In our HQ. Mm. Why don't I see the rest? Did I not send you to... Or maybe yeah it will still take one more hour okay now we have 44 out of 44 team a now we have all our armor back as well okay let's sort you by id and have a look yeah everything looks fine so our people are back, we have their equipment, their armor. We have all craft, we have all equipment. And 33 personal armors. Let me actually check, uh, we have 12 and 14, that's still enough. Okay, we have extra Sky Ranger prepared as well. That's perfect. Yeah, I think we are doing fine. These guys are still in psionic training. No need to do anything about them. All right. So let's wait for these research vessels to start popping up. I will uh, save quickly. 
so that if I lose progress, uh, move HQ to South America. So that if I lose progress, I don't have to do this again. And uh, let's see. Alien raid. Don't care. Actually, we haven't. We have done one mission in June, and we might have a quite big bad score. Nah, the score is okay, and we even have a plus on our side. So it's not going to be a peak like here, but it's going to be acceptable, I guess. Are we researching? Yes, we are. UFO power source, we know all about. Now we can do power suit, UFO construction and blackbird transport. I will probably do the UFO construction, blackbird transport, maybe useful. I don't know if you can buy it or manufacture it. If you can manufacture it, I would definitely want that. We'll do a power suit as well. And I want to do all these. Uh, well, we don't need Newton Corpse or Engineer. Puffer Terrorist should be researched though. Plasma Blaster and Clip. I don't even know what that does. But Heavy Plasma should be enough. So let's do... Let's do like... Uh, 50 on the Puffer Terrorist and 50 on the Power Suit. Living Quarters, Living Quarters, Living Quarters. Still doing the Hangar and the Hyperwave Decoders will be done relatively soon. Very good. Manufacturing those motion scanners. We have 2.8 million, so we should be fine with the money. And we don't need more um, more personal armor because uh, we'll have better armor. So let's just finish the 20th one. Excellent, and continue with that. Research mixed medium scout. Okay, so. These guys are supposed to land. And uh, I'll need to do the equipment. Um, and I will do it off camera, otherwise it will take a lot of time. And we have spent 18 minutes already. So just give me a second, I'll do the equipment and we'll be right back. And we're back. So um, I equipped the same people as last time at the beginning of the episode so eight worst and six best everybody has armor and everybody has uh, heavy plasma not so many stun rods we don't need them let's wait for these guys to come closer and land they should be landing large terror ship alien raid ignore and these guys have landed indeed. Medium scout, yes. Go after them, team A. Don't need the flares, but that's all right. And it's a very nice terrain. We can't step out on turn one. I won't be doing that anymore, ever, because we need to train up our crew a little bit for the final mission. So let's, uh, even though Hobbs and Deadman Zem have firing accuracy 40, they are totally expendable, but I will, instead of letting them die for sure on the first turn, we'll make a UFO breach with them or something like that. Okay, nobody here. Looks like it at least. <laughs> And I was wrong, there is a gazer right there. Ok, 
okay so what are these gazer vulnerable gazers vulnerable to i don't well they are definitely not vulnerable to firing accuracy 40 so we'll uh, do some more scouting with the scouts oh and there's another gazer okay this one is not facing our way though which is great you can hide over here and the good guys are all the way there so sugar run you could try a shot no you can't how about dr daft you cannot see the guy okay and you can't fire at him either but we know that uh, we can fire from there Horst is not making it any easier either Kyot Lake that's perfect so heavy plasmas can kill these guys that's good to know we'll take private Arcturus and maybe we'll need um, You know, like an attempt? No. Okay, so we can shoot from approximately there, which is good. Hmm. Yeah. Probably should just uh, throw a couple of things. We but Twix. Let's not make it too hard on ourselves, okay? Well, that was stupid. Much better. And let's prepare Grenadier Noob. Over here. Should be safe. Yataka just there. Ivan Dogovich right here. Dark Pretender somewhere over there all the way, I think. And Iris right there, please. These two guys can't move anymore, right? Right. Okay, face that way. Hopes I won't uh, protect you with a grenade, smoke grenade. It should be alright. Somebody's indeed shooting at us, and they are maybe even hitting us. Look, Hopes, I have one for you. I have two for you. Good job there. Good job there, soldier. Okay, there he is. Sugar run. See, you can do it too. It's easy. It's easy. All right. Now that man's them closer. Sugar run, stand up and closer. I want to send a scout over in this direction too. Yeah, that's fine. Grenadier noob. Weebetwigs is a scout. Come here. And we have one, two, three. Four good guys. 
you will be scouting as well Yataka we have six good guys so that's four horse this five and kilt like a six right there kilt like okay next turn well hopes it was uh, nice while it lasted and Yataka, <laughs> I feel the same way over there. Oh, they probably have um, destroyed my power source. What a shame. That was not good, yet, um, Dr. Daft. That was terrible, Dr. Daft. All right. We'll need Weber Twigs to scout for us. There's one guy. It was a good hit, okay, but there will be more than this guy. Oh, come on, kill him already. Really? He's taken three shots already? Four even. All right. Private. There is he. Okay. No line of fire. All right. How about you, Kilt Lake? There was a good line of fire. You need 37. So you will have a line of fire as well. Oh, come on, people. Iris. Horst. Fine. Fine. We have grenades too. Looks it landed where it was supposed to. 50 might not be enough. That's 30, 40. Yeah, we do have enough. Prime that. Throw it there. What's next? Cool. Hmm. There's one. I think Dr. Daft wants to prove himself. No, he doesn't. He really doesn't. Oh, come on, do I have to throw another grenade on him? I guess I do. I guess I do. How come you don't see him, though? Well, in any case, Ivan Dogovich, uh, what's your throwing accuracy? 69. Iris, 77. That's much better. So, prime dead, you need 14 to throw. So, from here. Mm. From here, then. Okay, this must be possible somehow. Thank you. Go back. And we'll take a little bit different positions now. Like this. Ivan Dogovich right here. Kyot Lake right there. Sugar run closer and wait. Very good. Very good. Nobody else. Hmm. 
nobody else. So we'll prepare on both sides. Couple more people. That man Zem and Dr. Daft. We are doing this for the money, by the way. Not for fame and glory. There's a lot of stuff uh, to be had here. Sugar Run can also scout for me. Potentially, there is nobody inside, looks like it. So, Kyot Lake and Ivan will go here. Iris will go there. You are here. That's fine. So, you can shoot this way and this way. Really? Okay, Medic Nunez, you will need medical attention. Looks like it. Bam, there you go. And you can take revenge. Congratulations, and he did not survive, unfortunately. I would love to have one of them alive, but was not happening the day. Two operatives killed, but many others got a lot of experience. And we have heavy plasmas, plasma rifles, uh, Illyrium, mind probe even, things like that, so that's great. We'll be selling the heavy plasmas, I think, the plasma rifle and pistol and clip and mind probe and corpses and corpses and uh, I think even this, why not? Yeah, two million. We were doing this for the money. A lot of performance citations, Athena citations, military crosses and purple hearts for everybody. Medic Nunez, look at you, you got three, four commendations. Ha! Performance for fast shooting, for training, for representing Earth in many missions and for getting hurt. <laughs> it almost feels bad now to just uh, push you forward to get you killed. Like Hobbs and Yataka were. Oh, Yataka had five kills as well. Great. Anyway, let's come back home and uh, let's resurrect. Hobbs the sixth. I'm sure you get better than accuracy than 40. And let's resurrect Yataka the fourth. There's a good chance you'll get better than 47 as well. And that's about it. Alright. We have some time left, so let's continue. Hangers are done. And critical data located at civilian area. Alright, this will be a night mission, looks like it. So we'll have to prepare properly for this, and we will do it in the next episode. What did it say exactly? Critical data? So it will be what kind of mission? Data recovery site. Mm, okay. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. For now, I thank you very much for watching, till next time, bye bye!